Welcome to this tutorial on how to create a piece of work in response to the photographer Dan Mountford. Um, you'll notice that I've already loaded up a photo of myself uh, in profile and I've also loaded up a photo of a castle that I took on a visit a few years back. Um, right, so first thing I need to do is um, isolate my background. So I use the magic wand tool because I've got quite an empty background, but you'll notice that um, it hasn't covered everything. I've got a top part that hasn't um, gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the tolerance upwards. And then when I click again, you'll see it's taken the whole lot. And I control C and control V. And that's going to give me another layer um, that just has the background on it, okay? Um, we need that for later on. Right, now working on my photo layer, the layer with me on it, I'm going to use the gradient tool and I'm going to um, get the colour of the background. So click on that, click OK, so I have that colour. And I'm going to use the gradient, so colour to nothing, colour to transparent, okay? And I'm going to use it just in a short, small way, just to build up and make my the back of my portrait disappear smoothly. OK, now I'm going to go to my castle and I need to get rid of the sky, so I'm going to magic wand that off. Going to need a really high tolerance for that. Um, once I've got it all covered, might need to press shift and click multiple times. Um, I then press delete. I then get the rectang rectangular mask and mask off the castle and a lot of what's below it. Control C, Control V. And you'll notice it's a lot smaller, this image. It's because I had to lift it off of Facebook. Um, but it will do for this purpose. So I'm just turning it 90 degrees and placing it, and you can shimmy it around all you like. That looks pretty good to me, so leave it like that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this layer with the uh, gradient tool. I've still got the same things locked in, so it's just a case of doing it the other way now, just to get rid of the bottom edge of the picture. Take your time until you're happy. Okay, and then making sure you're on that castle layer, you go to the box above and you just drop down until uh, you get whichever one works best. For me, it's multiply. Um, and then we've got to get rid of the background so we can see the rest of the castle. So go to the eraser tool, make sure it's a good size, something like that and just erase from the back of the head and begin to make the castle appear. And because you've done everything in that kind of background color and you got rid of the sky of the castle, then it's not really that difficult to do this bit. Okay, just deleting everything. Once you're happy with that, that's pretty much it. But in this instance, I'm a little far back. So what I'm going to do is just going to merge all those layers together. Come on, computer. There we go. And then I'm going to grab the whole lot. And I'm just going to move myself over with the arrow tool till I'm happy. And this is another little thing I can show you. I've obviously made that bit clear at the back, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to highlight or mask off a strip, get the uh, arrow tool, and just stretch that so it covers the rest. And that's looking good to me. Right, okay, and that is the image pretty much done if you want to leave it in colour, but I think it's better either in black and white, which you can do by going to image adjustments, black and white. Um, but you could also 
add some color after you've done the black and white. So first thing I'm going to do, I think it needs a little bit of, uh, to be a bit brighter, maybe adjust the contrast slightly. Make it a little bit more interesting, okay? But what you could do then is um, take the image and make and add some kind of um, sepia tones to it, if you will. So you go to image adjustments, color balance, and I would bring down the blue and bring up the red till I'm happy with it. Click OK. And that's pretty much it. And that ends this tutorial. I hope it's useful for you.